Clubs and Society, Crazy IGCSE. Welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE, where you can study 7 IGCSE subjects at one place. The subjects include Biology, Physics, English, Mathematics, Business, Economics, and Accounts. So here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down. Now let's start the topic. So this is the syllabus for clubs and societies. In this video we'll be only learning the theory part of clubs and societies excluding the subscriptions account format, the income and expenditure, expenditure receipts and payments format. And we'll also be learning the subscriptions account in a separate video. Do stay tuned for another video as well based on solving IGCSE past papers on clubs and societies. So in this video, we'll be distinguishing between the receipts and payments account and, in, and income and expenditure accounts. We'll also be defining and calculating the accumulated fund. Clubs and societies prepare this account and they are known as a trading organization. These organizations set up to provide services to its members and the general public. These organizations don't have a profit motive, thus they are called the non-profit organization. The main source of income they get is the income from subscriptions. So subscriptions is when members subscribe themselves to the services of that particular organization. It is managed by a group of people called managing committee. A person is appointed to act as a treasurer and be responsible for maintaining financial statements. They maintain books of accounts by applying principles of double entry system. Now this treasurer acts as an accountant of the clubs and society. So in a normal business, there is an accountant which takes care about of the books of accounts. But in a clubs and society, accountant is replaced by a treasurer. Also, the accumulated fund, the formula for accumulated fund is assets minus liability. So accumulated fund is assets minus liability. Now, the accumulated fund is basically the surplus which we find from the previous years. So let's write the formula. It is assets minus the liabilities. I'm sorry for the bad handwriting. cash book but in a clubs and society we prepare receipts and payments instead of a cash book then an income and expenditure account is prepared in place of the income statement to remember that income statement is the substitute of income and expenditure account you can remember that an income statement reco uh, records the incomes and the expenses as well so this is income and expenditure the term surplus is in the place of net profit. Surplus means an excess of income over expenditure. Then the deficit is in place of net loss. So net loss is an excess of expenditure over income. So there is no owner in a non-profit organization, therefore there is no investment. That means there is no capital invested into the business. And we write accumulated fund instead of financed by in the balance sheet. So the financed by contains the capital, the net profit and all that. But here in a club, clubs and society, we record it as accumulated fund. So accumulate, accumulated fund is the surplus amount of the previous years. Now the receipts and payment account is like the cash book of a trader. It records all the receipts and payments account. It may have amounts of previous year, current year and following years. It helps you to calculate the cash in hand and bank of the club. Income and expenditure account is a nominal account. Here only the revenue receipts and the revenue payments for the current year is recorded. They consider amounts only for the current year after the adjustments of outstanding and prepaid are made. So in an income and expenditure account, we record the adjustments such as outstanding and prepaid. And we also record only the depreciation amount of equipment because depreciation is a non-monetary item. And we also record interest on loan in income and expenditure account. This income and expenditure account helps you to calculate the surplus or deficit for a year. 
so the purchase of equipment is not an expense it is a capital expenditure so since it's a capital expenditure it goes under the balance sheet depreciation will be calculated in the income and expenditure account since it's a non-monetary item now non-monetary items are not recorded in the receipts and payment account also the loan from a member is not recorded because it is a liability so it is not recorded in receipts in the income and expenditure account we start from income and don't record the part from the gross profit that means the purchases the inventory we don't record all that in the income and expenditure account we only record the part of the income and expenses so again loan from member is not recorded as it is a liability so it's recorded so it's not recorded in the receipts the surplus will be added with accumulated funds in balance sheet. So the surplus is in case of profit. So profit is added with the accumulated fund. Then bank in subscriptions account will be the subscriptions received. So the subscriptions account will be learning in the next topic. Shop sales don't go in income and expenditure account. It goes in the receipt and payment account. We create receipts and payments account to find the bank balance and that bank balance goes under balance sheet. Now if it's a positive value, it is bank, it goes under the current assets. However, if it is a negative balance, then it is a bank overdraft which goes under the current liability. We deduct or add the surplus and deficit from the accumulated fund in the balance sheet. Now cost value is the amount after the depreciation amount is deducted from the cost value. Then book value is the amount after depreciation. So book value is the amount after the depreciation amount is uh, cut from the cost of the equipment. Then cost value is the amount before the depreciation is cut. Then bank overdraft amounts come under the current liability and bank amounts come under current assets. This is in the balance sheet. Then the adjustments are made in the income and expenditure account only and the brought down amount in the receipts and payments account will be in the balance sheet as bank. So this is the end of our topic. Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE. Do stay tuned for our upcoming videos on subscriptions account and solving past papers on IGCSE accounting clubs and societies and also we'll be making a video on the format of the receipts and payments account, subscriptions account and the income and expenditure account. Please do subscribe, like and comment down below. Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE.